Welcome back for part three of Let's Play Discworld. And if you recall, I was tasked with getting a specific book on how to... on dragons from the librarian. Hey, whose monkey is this? But instead, I'm getting Rincewind hit over Did the head the number of that donkey a lot. Cart? Let's ask Excuse about the me, book. My dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me, ah, uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <laughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Monkey? Did you get the number of that donkey? He'll cart? learn eventually. No, I'll come back It'll and get a book later. It'll just take a while. So we need a yes, library I'll give card. No, not not Gibbon, monkey. Hey, oh damn! Uh oh. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Indeed, it does. Now well, let's look. Let's see if it'll let us look around the library a bit more. Here we go. That doesn't work. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Oh nope. yes, that's that's levitating, all right. Yep, it's levitating. He makes very practical observations. Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it. Yeah, that's not good. That's an infestation, isn't it? Hey, who's this? A sleazy guy. Hey, buddy. Who, oh, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. I don't really trust this guy. I don't know, something about Gosh, him. Gosh, yes. Let me take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. What? Really? Nah, only kidding. I just want it to be as pleasant as possible as a sort of aid to conversation. Hey, that's really cruel. Building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. I hear the Framenwanger Peninsula is fairly quiet. <laughs> Why don't your lips sync with your words? L space. The library is a nexus of L space. Within these shelves, all possible pasts and futures can be found. Frankly, it's making me feel a bit ill. And he's not kidding. L space comes into play a little later. What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. Uh huh. You are an extremely silly man. Hey, I'm not the one wearing a dress. Right, so well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. He's mostly useless at this point. Hey, look, ropes. Reminds me of my old auntie's bedroom. And we don't really want to know why. Thankfully, he doesn't go into it. Yes, yeah, so I think perhaps our best move would be to keep slightly upwind of this one. Well, that and keep out of arm's reach. See, Rincewind doesn't trust him either. Rincewind, really lousy magician, but actually has quite a bit of common sense for a uh, point-and-click adventure protagonist. So, now we need to look around for a library card or some other method to bribe the monkey into getting that monkey to bribe the orangutan into getting a uh, book for us, don't we? Well, let's see. Let's look around. Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. Well, paraffin being wax, that's probably a candle. Ha! Ah, ha ha! Yes, now, don't rush me. Can't see in the dark, yes, can you? Thought so. They're shelves. 
Ah, looks like a witch transportation device. <laughs> One of the older models, I presume. And we can take that with us. That doesn't work. We'll get out of there. Might as well have a look in the kitchen while we're down here. Well, he's cooking food. I suppose that means we have to call him a cook. Excuse me, but could I ask you some questions? Clear off! And no magic in the kitchen! One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the Arch-Chancellor. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly joke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Yep. Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard, but they found out my parents were married. <laughs> Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan? You don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. Twenty-seven years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. <laughs> this is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse if there were worst. What's worst? It's a what's name? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try Dibblers. Oh, dear. So it's to be pans, is it? Just watch the pancakes for a while. It's very soothing. Down, kitty. Oh, okay. I'll catch you later, then. We've talked to him all we really can. No, you can't do that from here. You can look around a little bit. I don't think there's much to really that see. That doesn't work. Not yet, ah, anyway. So it was ice cream for dinner yesterday, eh? Yep, ice cream for dinner, I guess. These are wizards. Very much like their desserts. Well, he's cooking food. Okay, so there's nothing in here for us to do yet. But it's, you know, kind of useful to note where the kitchen is. I guess. In the dining room, we can look around in here for a minute. I know I'm almost running out of time. Let's just look around. See what he has to say about why is the librarian a monkey? Oh dear. Did you get the number of that away. Cot. He's not a... one of them. He's an orangutan. But it's the same thing. No, no, no. The actual orangutan is one of the great apes, an arboreal denizen of the subtropical rainforest. If you ever want to go far in life, you must learn the value of proper nomenclature. Nomenclature? But what's the difference between calling him an orangutan or a monkey? <laughs> In general terms, the difference is whether you keep your teeth in your head or in your hat. But how did it happen? I mean, should we really let our boreal subtropical fauna be the guardians of a major national library? Uh, well, he was human once, of course. What? Really? All part of a magical accident. Very tragic, you see, but there it is. Very embarrassing, seeing him scratch himself in the reference section. Doesn't he want to be turned back into a human? Nope. Ha! Says he likes the long arms, the prehensile toes, and a right to scratch himself in the reference section. I say he just likes running around loose, not wearing trousers. I mean, I would. Okay, folks. 
I've got to cut the video here, and I will come back next time, and we will continue to talk to the three guys eating dinner. The never-ending dinner, that is. So, take care, everybody. See you later. <laughs>